In this tutorial, I will show you how to create table of content for your wiki site. After you create wiki pages, they are listed under site navigation. However, as you can see, they are listed in alphabetic order, not in the order in which your content flows. So, in order to provide guidance to your site visitors as to which page they should look at first, which next, you can create table of content. A logic place to put table of content is the home page, as it is the first place your site visitors will see. So now we are on the home page of, your, of, of the wiki site. Click Edit button. Now, type in ta table of content. It is better to uh, align it in the center. Also, maybe choose a little bit larger font. Now, I start to list the uh, pages, my wiki pages. You can either align it in the center or to the left, but you may want to use indent so that it's not against the edge of the page. So for this wiki project, the first page is introduction. And we want this page to be linked to the introduction page. So that is linked to an existing page. Here is the introduction page. I click Insert. I also want to increase the size of the font. So make it a little bit larger. And the next page is Experiment. So the same thing I link it to the experiment page in the same way uh, as I link to the introduction. Here, actually, I can type in all the titles and then change the font um, at once all together. Now, as you can see, I already linked uh, to all the pages I have created so far for this uh, project. I click Save to save change. Now, if I click the introduction, so I'm on the introduction page. And experiment, now it's my experimental page. But as you can see, it's uh, not very convenient if I want to go to the next page, I have to go back to the table of content to see what's next, and then click on it to go to the next page. So it is better on each page, we also insert a navigation. For example, here, if we're on the results and discussion page, we can add a previous button and the next button to uh, help our site visitors to go to the previous page and the next page. So, suppose we already have some content here, and uh, I go to the bottom of the page, I type in previous. If you like, you can also type in previous page, uh, and then next for next page. I make some more space, and also I want to align it in the center. Make the font bold or even a little bit larger. Now, I should link the previous to the previous page, which is data collection, because this is a um, results and discussion page. And then the next page is the conclusion page. So I click the wiki link and then I select Conclusion. So now, my Results and dis Discussion page has the uh, previous and the next links to help my site visitors to go to the next page 
all the previous page. So now if I click next, I'm on the conclusion page. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is if we go back to the home page where we have table of content, after you create it, if you want to add another new page, it's also very easy. Of course, you can click new button to create a new page first and then edit this uh, table of content page to add uh, a link to that page. Or you can just click edit and then add here first. For example, here I want to put all the graphs of the experiment at the bottom, uh, at the, the last. So I want to add a graphs page. And here I click link. This time we don't choose link to an existing page because we haven't created the graphs page yet. We should choose link to a new page. The page name is graphs. Now I click insert. A new page is created. So here if I click graphs, I'm on the graph page, graphs page, and then I can click edit to add my graphs. Thank you for watching.